<clears throat> All right, guys. Let's break this down. So why you have zero friends and don't fit in? First thing is first. Okay, I used to be that guy that had thousands of friends. And let me tell you something about that. My life as a man even though I wasn't even a man at that time and at that age was a complete mess I had nothing I was not doing great in school which never really mattered to me to begin with but every like all the structure to my life was just off I was in that mode of having fun all the time and it's gonna come back to bite you in the ass when you actually become a man so when you want to become the best you can be when you actually put your foot down and you say you know what I'm done with this BS it's getting me nowhere it's doing nothing for me all this shit is fake anyways all these people it's just it's not even real it's just all for fun Yay, let's have fun. It's not the answer. It's like I said, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass because people are going to go here, people are going to go there, people are going to go everywhere. Once you go from being a younger kid to an adult, this is when reality hits. And that's when you really got to buck up or you're really going to fall. And it's not going to be good. Sometimes rock bottom is the best thing for you. It's the best thing that can happen to anybody. So, <clears throat> for all the people that think they're so cool for having so many different friends, you got a whole other thing coming to you. You got a whole other awakening coming to you. And it's not the answer. I say get your shit together ASAP. That's when the fun really begins, because now you can actually, now that you have your life together, now that you have structure, you may be able to go somewhere at a, at a left or right field and do something random that's fun with whoever, but you still got your life together. Now, if you're just doing things all the time and your life is not together, you're going to always look to do something like that and you're never going to have anything to show for. You're going to be a bum. How is this the answer? It is not. That's what I'm trying to explain here. So, what you need to do is solely focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on your mission. Focus on things that you're good at. Whether anybody else is going to be there or not. Because this is when I started to lose a lot of friends. Is when I started to try. Is when I got intense with my life. And I mean very intense. I'm like 18, 19 years old, which is a good age. I give myself an excuse for my actions and behaviors when I was younger because things really didn't matter at that age anyways. It's not like I couldn't, it's, it, I could have done better, but I give myself that excuse. I was young. It's everybody's excuse, but it is no excuse. When you become an adult and your actions continue and you make no positive changes to your life, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. If you don't know it now, you will. I'm telling you, you will. That's why I'm saying having all these friends is not the answer. Because it's never going to go that way. If you're actually focused on yourself, you're going to either be by yourself, isolated, or you're going to have a very few small people around you that's going to be working towards similar things. Which in and itself is hard to find. So most likely... You're going to be a lone wolf doing your thing, unless it involves something to where people are in the same work area as yourself. If you go to school, yeah, you'll be around people. Still going to be distracted. I don't think... <sighs> I don't think college and university is the answer. I really don't. Me personally. I don't think it's a bad thing for everybody in the world. 
but it's really got to be in you to want to go to college, university. Like, if there's things inside of you screaming, yay, like, I want to do this, I really do, and you really mean that, yes, it's in you to do it. If there's something in you that you're not sure, you don't really want to go to college, you don't really want to go to university, it's probably not in you to do it. It's probably not. There was not one thing in my body that said, yay, I'm, after high school, I'm going to go and I'm going to get a trade here. I'm going to get a trade there. I'm going to go to university and become a doctor, become a lawyer. No. None of those things sparked any interest in me at all. When I was young, I had professional athlete aspirations. I had aspirations to do something big, to do something special with my life because I knew it was in me to do it. Those are the aspirations I had. I wanted nothing else. I'm telling you, man, some people are born to do something like that. They're just born to do it. And anything else will probably get them in trouble because they're not living their purpose. They're not living their calling. And that's what happens to a lot of people when they're not living their purpose. They can get into bad things. They can do bad things. And you don't want that to happen. So the fact that you have zero friends, it might not be zero, but like bare minimum or zero. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It shows maturity. It shows that you really know who you are and that you really know what you want. It really does. There's no such thing as having a thousand friends in your life. There's just no such thing. It's a disaster. It's a fucking nightmare, bro. You don't want that. That's not the life you want. It's all going to come back to haunt you. If you're young right now and you're watching this video, all your friends that you think you have right now, they're temporary. They're not going to be a big part of your life. You will become acquaintances or enemies with these people. Because if you had an ex-best friend and you guys are no longer friends because you took a path and they took a different way of life and you start to shine and they're kind of doing the opposite, not shining at all, just kind of in trouble. They will resent you. They will hate you. Like, are you kidding me, bro? Do you think you're going to be on top of the world doing, doing good things? All high and muddy and confident and you're feeling good every single day? And your ex-best friend is down here? having to look up to watch you? Do you think they're happy for you? Absolutely not. And it makes sense. You shouldn't expect them to. You don't need them to. Move on with yourself. Move on with your life. People go one way. People go the other. This is life. These are things none of us are told when we're younger. We all think everything lasts forever. We, we're all so naive when we're young. Yeah, my high school best friends right now are gonna be my friends forever. It's just not the way it goes. Especially when you start to do very well for yourself and other people do not, vice versa. You're not gonna click. Your mindset, their mindset, completely different. You will lose friends when you're leveling up. It's the whole point of this video. When you level up, you lose friends. If you want to stay the same, you'll probably have more friends. But you're going to be in the mix with these stuck people. And it's not a good place to be. This stuck position that people are in, the friends they have in this stuck position are not even their real friends. The only reason why these people are together is because they're in the same position. Stuck. If one person elevates, the person that is still stuck is still going to be stuck in this position. And the person that elevated is going on to bigger and better things. You're no longer friends. You cannot be friends. This is how it goes. This is how the world works. 
you'll always be in the mix with people who you can relate to for who you are right now in this moment. This is why friends really don't exist. You can relate to certain people at certain times in your life for who you are right now. And you can get along with each other if you're on the same tip in life. You see it all the time. There's a bunch of famous TikTokers that used to all be friends. And now a bunch of them are like resentful of each other. They all went their separate ways. They all went different directions. They're no longer friends. They delete each other off social media. Things like this happen. It's a, it's a whole point of life. Who you're cool with right now, you might not be cool with in a year's time, three years time, five years time. It's just how it works. You have to be accepting of this philosophy. We're not told these things when we're young, but you're hearing it now. This is how it is. People might be there at one point in your life. They might not be in the next. You have to be accepting of this. People come and people go out of your life for a reason. It's a different season. So, I can't explain this any pot, like, I couldn't possibly explain this any better than I am right now. I'm hitting things to a T, and this needs to be said. People are not there forever. But you will be there forever, with you, until the end of time. So you have to be accepting of having a mindset where you have zero friends, but you can be cool with people at a certain point in life. And we're talking about your personal life here. Your personal life. You can think whatever you want. But everything I'm saying is exactly what's going to happen to your life. Guaranteed. You can hold on to your life to people. It's not going to be the same. You're not going to have the same times you used to have with people that you might have had good times with. You can try to relive those moments. You can go back in time. You can get together with the same group of people you used to be with. And you can try to have that time you guys had before. And it's not going to feel the same. Because you're different now. That's who you were at that time. It's not going to be the same. And like I said, and I'll say it again. I'm telling you guys things right now that you're not going to hear from anybody else. This is really how it is. So you have to be accepted and not be fearful of growing as a person, going on to bigger and better things. You can't be fearful of this. You can't be fearful to be alone. I had certain things that was uncomfortable with me in the past. I grew through all the storms. There was very difficult times. Because when we have a mindset, when we grow up, so, so, like, careless and carefree and everything is sunshine and rainbows, like, reality really hits you at one point in time. And you will, you will start, it doesn't matter who teaches you, you will learn yourself. If you're living life and you're growing, you will learn yourself what is actually what. <clears throat> and... This is the exact times where you realize that, you know what? Friends is kind of an illusion. Doesn't mean you have to be enemies with these people. It's just you don't relate. I mean, you like if you really leveled up in life and you're really up here and people you might have used to get around with are kind of down here, they're just not doing well. As you are anyway. If you guys get together, it's not going to be the same, bro. They're going to be the ones that's going to be uncomfortable because your mindset is so evolved because they've never went through the storms that you went through to grow into who you become. Which is why you cannot hang out because they're going to be uncomfortable. They're not even going to want to be around you. They're going to feel very fearful and very weird and very like... 
I don't know how to explain it. They're just going to feel... Basically, you're going to be the one that shows them what they did not do. So they feel uncomfortable. They don't feel comfortable around you. They're out of their comfort zone being around you because you're constantly out of your comfort zone growing as a person. So that's why you make them uncomfortable. Most people like comfort. And this is why you guys will just not end up being good friends. You guys both don't have to hate each other. It's just kind of like, yeah, I see who they are. And you, yeah, I see who they are. But it's just kind of like, you don't get along. Not that you don't get along, but it's just like you don't see eye to eye. So you're not going to have that chemistry. We are very spiritual beings, guys. We align with what we align with in the given time as of right now. And that's it. Doesn't matter who you used to get around. The way you live your life says it all. The way you live your life and the way others live their life. And I mean, you could have grew up with somebody since day one. And you guys both grew together, always going up like this. You could end up together forever. It's just very, very, very rare for something like that to happen. Which is why you tend to meet new people. You get into new things. Same with them. They meet new people. They get into new things. They do different things. You don't really end up with the same people you grew up with at one point in time. So you have to be accepted of growing by yourself so you can meet new people who you align with to whoever you're going to grow into. And this is all facts. Like I said, having thousands of friends, these people are the worst off. These people are the most lost at the end of the day. The most lost. You don't want that many people in your life. <clears throat> it's a distraction. It's impossible to keep up with that. It's going to be you and it's going to be a few people maybe and you have to be on the same page. You have to communicate. If things go smooth, it's going to go smooth. You're going to grow together. If it doesn't go smooth, they will fall off and you will continue to go your way. And you're going to align with a few certain people. And that's how it's going to happen. But understand that you don't want to be that so-called cool kid that has thousands of acquaintances, thousands of friends. You're in for a rude awakening. You're in for a disastrous future and you're not going to know it until you really know it period so that's pretty much it for this video guys um i don't think i have anything else to add so i will get on to the next video and there's something crazy that happened last night that I just want to say right quick. <clears throat> it's never happened to me before, but I want to know if it happened to you guys. So if you're still here, maybe you can share in the comments section if it did. But this was brutal. I lit a hot candle last night on my TV stand. I opened the fridge. I opened the fridge door hard by accident. It flew in and hit the TV stand and the candle that was lit, it was filled with like hot liquid because it was lit for a while and the candle like flew over and hit my leg and it just coated my pants with the hot wax and the hot wax like flew from one side of the floor to the other way across the room and it took like hours for me to scrape off the hot wax off the floor and it like burnt my pants and everything else and it was nuts it didn't burn my leg too bad just slightly but it was brutal I don't know if this happened to you guys before, but it was a mess. And you don't want it to happen because <clears throat> it takes time to clean that shit up. And it's not fun. And it's going to ruin your pants. Depending on what floor you have, it could ruin your floor. In my case, I was able to scrape it all off, but it took hours. And it was just a brutal situation. 
And for here on out, I will be careful of that candle in that particular place where a door could potentially fly open and hit that over. So be careful with your candles. And that's it with this video. I'll be back.